Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand bubble sort algorithm. The concept of the working mechanism of bubble sort algorithm has been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here because uh, you may not be able to understand what we're going to discuss under uh, what we're going to discuss in this class. So, without understanding the working mechanism of bubble sort, you may not be able to understand what we're going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have a better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now coming to this class this is the bubble sort algorithm so uh, let's try to understand each and every step in a detailed way by using this array so the array of elements this the here the, the same array that we have covered in our previous video we have taken the same array so we'll try to analyze we'll try to understand the bubble sort working by using this array and here this loop is going to iterate from 0 to uh, from 0 to n minus 1 0 to 7 it means it is going to iterate for 8 times as the number of elements are 8 times it is going to iterate for 8 times and this j loop how this j loop works is uh, j is equal to 0 to n minus i minus 1 so what this n minus i minus 1 means as the value of i is equal to 0 in the first iteration as the value of i is equal to 0 this one is going to be n minus 1 in the sense it is from 0 to 0 to 7 0 uh, n minus 0 minus 1 which is 7 because the value of n is equal to 8 okay in the in the second iteration when the value of i is equal to 1 this is going to be n minus n minus 2 which means it is going to be 6 why this 6 0 to 6 why this 0 to 6 this is very important to understand so why we have taken this n minus i minus 1 is very important to understand because as as we go on as the i value increases uh, we are we are going to leave the uh, last elements so for example if you take the value of i is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 this this for loop is going to iterate from 0 to n minus i 1 minus 1 the value of i is equal to 1 so here n minus i minus 1 it is going to be n minus 1 minus 1 which is n minus 2 n minus 2 means 8 minus 2 which is 6 from 0 to 6 this one is going to iterate means we are leaving the seventh element why we are leaving the seventh element because the highest among these elements will be shifted to that place we have discussed about this in our previous video so that is the reason why this for loop is going to iterate for six times and as the value of i is equal to 2 as the value of i is equal to 2 this one is going to iterate from 0 to n minus 2 minus 1 which is 3 okay so which is uh, uh, 8 minus 3 which is 5 so this one is going to iterate for five times means till here 0 to 5 till here only we are going to iterate okay because as we complete this iteration the seven the element seven which is going to be the second largest element will be shifted to its position okay so the in the working mechanism we have clearly understood how this works okay based upon the assumption we are discussing this algorithm okay uh, if the condition is if a if a of j is greater than j plus one a of j is greater than j plus one so every time we come into this loop it is going to check as it is going to iterate for all the all the number of iterations 0 to 7 0 to 6 means this for loop is going to iterate all the six iterations 0 to 6 means all the six iterations 0 to 7 means all the seven iterations okay so in that way it is going to compare uh, elements after the elements as the j value increments a of j a of j plus one so it, we are going to compare this so we'll try to do for one iteration one iteration we'll check and later uh, uh, that, then you you will be easily understand uh, how this algorithm works so when the value of i is equal to zero value of i is equal to zero here zero to n minus zero minus one which is n minus one so this loop is going to iterate from zero to seven it is it, this is going to iterate from 0 to 7 okay in this iteration what it is going to do a of j greater than a of j minus 1 the value of j is equal to 0 in the first iteration j plus 1 means 1 a of 0 
is greater than a of uh, uh, a of 1 a of 0 is 4 4 greater than 8 is it true no it is not true so we are not going to come into this for loop and again the for loop will iterate here the value of j is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 means a of j a of 1 a of 1 means 8 a of j plus 1 means 2 uh, a of j plus 1 means 2 uh, so a of 2 is equal to 3 8 greater than 3 is it true yes it is true if it is true we are going to swap a of j and a of j plus 1 so these two will get swapped assume that these two are getting uh, are swapped 3 and 8 okay in the third iteration the value of j is equal to 3 sorry j, j, j is equal to 2 now now what we are going to compare 2 is compared with j plus 1 okay 2 and 3 8 greater than 1 is it true yes it is true so again these two will get swapped one will be here and eight will be here and again the third iteration here the value of i is equal to uh, three let's take uh, sorry j is equal to three when you take three three and four will get compared eight greater than five yes it is true so five will be swapped here and eight will be here in the next iteration seven and eight will get swapped okay seven will be here and eight will be here and two and eight eight greater than two 8 greater than 2 so the j is getting iterated so i am uh, under the assumption that you you, the, uh, you should know that the j is iterating we are moving further so that is the concept of bubble sort so the largest element is going to move to the top as the bubble moves from bottom of the water to the top of the water in the in the same way the largest element will be shifted to its uh, extreme end of the array okay so now 8 greater than 2 is it true yes it is true so uh, uh, 2 will be swapped and 8 will be swapped uh, 2 and 8 will get swapped again these two will get compared see here 0 to 7 zeros to seven okay now eight and six will get compared uh, so six and eight will get shifted so now there is no need for us to worry about this last element because it is already in the sorted order so in the next iteration where the value of i is equal to one where the value of i is equal to one this one is going to iterate from zero to 0 to n minus 1 minus 1 which is n minus 2 which is 8 minus 2 which is 7 sorry 8 minus 2 which is 6 0 to 6 we are going to iterate from here to here only we are going to iterate by this time the 7 will be shifted to this position 7 will be shifted to this position because the second largest element will be shifted to the end extreme end of the array extreme end means here it is 6 in our previous iteration the extreme end is 8 now it is 6 so the 7 the second largest element is 7 so it will get shifted to its position okay so this is how the bubble sort algorithm will work and this is the original algorithm in the, in the sense it is the standard algorithm it is not the optimized algorithm the disadvantage of this is even though the elements are in the sorted order the comparisons are done which is of no use so we have to optimize this algorithm so how to get that optimized algorithm that we will try to understand in our next class so this is all about bubble sort algorithm hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with our friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching